Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day and today's video is going to be something pretty easy and relaxing, something that I like watching so hopefully you guys will too. And this is going to be a makeup organization video. I'm going to show you how I have my makeup collection organized right now. This is not going to be a declutter or a collection video. I'm not going to go over every single product. I'm just going to show you how I decided to organize my makeup collection and like why. So maybe you guys can be inspired to organize your stuff too. I love having really organized makeup. I don't like a messy collection. I can't just throw stuff in drawers. I have organizers everywhere. So today I'm going to show you how I did that and also talk about where I got some organizers from as well. So you guys can probably find them for yourself if you enjoy them. And yeah, when I first moved in here, I just kind of put my makeup back where it was when I was in the old apartment. But I just, I found a couple organizers the other day and I was like, these fit perfectly in my old drawers. I cannot wait to like reorganize some stuff and I feel a little bit better how it's organized now. So without any further ado, you guys, let's get into the video. Okay, so I need to wipe down this Alex drawer. It's kind of dirty. I didn't realize until I'm filming and there might be an echo in this room and the lighting might be bad. But this is the first drawer I reorganized that really made me want to like add extra organizers to my stuff. So I may have to hold the camera for this one because it's really high up. But I got this junk drawer organizer um, from Home Goods. It was $6.99 and it fits perfectly in here. Now it does sit on top of here. So in the deeper drawers, if you put it in the deeper drawers, you are going to lose the depth of it. But on the top drawers, it sits perfectly in there. And this is where I keep my eye brushes, the eye brushes I don't use that often, and a foundation brush, my primers, and like eye bases and stuff. And then back there I have like some puffer tools, um, a little blotting paper, stuff like that. But really it keeps my primers and my brushes really organized and this looks really nice. And I wish there was more black ones, there was only this one black one. But I only bought one at a time. I didn't know if they were going to fit or not. For my second drawer, we have foundation. So we go brushes, um, bases primers, foundation. So going in order of the face right now, this is my foundation drawer. This is a Sony Cosmetics organizer. I taped it so it wouldn't move around in here because it doesn't fit all the way to the back. It stops right here, but it does display all of my primers. It is just like a little three wave thing. It's just a little piece of tilted plastic from Sony Cosmetics. And I think I have a discount code with them if you want to buy it. I don't think I make money off of that, but it's really nice for foundations, but then also I have a lot of foundations, so I feel like it's always full. Maybe I should take concealers out because it doesn't fit every foundation it looks like. After that is my most packed drawer. So the drawer we always have to declutter a ton. My highlighters, blushes, contours, bronzers, powders drawer, which is a lot. So I keep my setting powders stacked twice. So there's like powder and there's a powder underneath it. Um, a couple highlighters, like my Ofra ones here. I need to reorganize this one. I was happy with it, but this Ofra one doesn't fit with the rest of them, and I need to reorganize it. I need to take everything out. I know this is an organization video. I should have done this beforehand, but I still think it's relatively organized. Now, because my foundation drawer is so full, I do have a bounce foundation from Beauty Blender here in this drawer. Um, it is in this container, and I marked the shade name on it because I broke open the container for the Beauty Blender foundation and I got whatever I could out of it because I could not get the foundation out of that container, the little glass thing. So I broke it and got what I could out of it better than just like throwing all of it away. So I got what I could out of it, but it has to sit in this drawer because it won't fit on this shelving thing. These are relatively organized. They're like they are stacked. They're very tight together. I try to keep the brands together the best I could. And all the way back here, we have highlighters that are like fun colors, liquid highlighters, and things that I don't use as often, as well as like my Jeffree Star highlighters like Supreme Frost and Liquid Frost that I never use. These bottom two drawers aren't very exciting. They are just palettes. So I know I have another Sony Cosmetics organizer in here. It's a palette organizer. Again, taped to the bottom of the Alex drawer unit so it doesn't move around. These are just palettes that I reach for a lot or new palettes in my collection. So palettes I really, really love like the Tardis and Bloom palette, the um, Life's a Drag palette, new things like the Alma palette and the Juicy Olive palette. So things that I reach for a lot, things I need to try out more, that's up here. Things I absolutely adore and want right at hand like the Gemini. So that's this and I also have the Conspiracy palette back there. And then behind this organizer, because it doesn't go all the way to the back, I have Jeffree Star palettes and I never use like um, Androgyny and the Morphe one. This other drawer is my other palette drawer, which I'm gonna have to pick up and show you. It's very organized. 
little ones that are the same size stacked to each other. The little mini colored ones right there. Long palettes kind of sit right here. This one awkward one, ColourPop and Alter Ego palettes are almost the same size. And miscellaneous palettes stuffed to the back. Okay, so for this top drawer, again, it's really hard to show you because this is so tall. But we have just setting sprays, lip balms, a little makeup remover case, some little tools, like stuff like that, cotton rounds, more sprays, skincare moisturizers, sprays, sunscreen, cortisone, a little razor blade for cutting stuff, more lip balm. It's just like my skincare and finishing stuff and tools. I know these angles are weird and I'm sorry, but my tripod's being weird today. So the second drawer, also this was another one of those junk drawer organizers from Home Goods that were $6.99. This is the name of them. They're the Made Smart organizers, junk drawer organizers, $6.99 at Home Goods. They're called Made Smart if you want to find them online. Um, but for $7, they only came in white. So I bought just the black one the first time. It fit perfectly. I was like, okay, I need some more. And then I could only find white ones, but I really like the black ones more. This second drawer here is just lashes. Now I do leave, this is another Sony Cosmetics organizer. I do leave the first spot right here empty. So if I am, let's say I'm wearing the Mamie's, I'll put this empty container here while I'm wearing them. So at the end of the night, I can just grab the first container and I know to put them back in here. It's easier to find the case for them. So I have everything full in here, um, except for the one open spot where I put the lashes I'm wearing that day in there. And then behind this organizer, because again, it doesn't fit all the way to the back, we have a bunch of extra so i have like an extra pair of deep dish i have an extra pair of taco lashes all the stuff back there is extra and then up here is the stuff i'm currently wearing even though i don't wear most of these i'm gonna be honest <laughs> after that is a packed drawer so this is my liquid lipstick drawer and lip liner lip gloss drawer so these three things these are three things they're three deep bins each um, these are from TJ Maxx or Home Goods or Ross. They all have them. They're just three deep containers, and I smashed two in here. They don't really fit. I forced them to fit in here, um, but they did fit beside each other after I did that. So we have six little deep things. We have like my go to lipsticks, my Jeffree Star lipsticks, lipsticks I don't really use but have a really pretty hue to them, Drawer Cosmetics and Lethal, like some um, Colored Rain and stuff. And then back there, I have lip liners. This is a, like another three thing, but it's not as deep. And then we have like lipsticks, lip glosses and stuff like that that I don't really reach for as much as these core things. Then we have the last little junk drawer organizer that I put in here. So this drawer is like my eye drawer. So we have liquid liners and mascaras and brow gels, brow pencils here, which isn't that many because we just did a mini declutter. I will leave a link to the top of the description box for you. I made declutter of me getting rid of a lot of the little eye stuff. Um, so like mascaras, eyeliner, stuff like that. We have liquid shadows in this big compartment here, which is Stila, Milani, Elf, um, Profusion, stuff like that. We have a bunch of brow pomades and single shadows back here with some um, nice little pencil sharpeners. We have some loose lip wands. I do keep the majority of my lip wands somewhere else, but if I do use a dose of colors liquid lipstick from the drawer above it, then I need a different applicator because it is a gross applicator. It's like fuzzy on theirs. And then we have just regular um, waterline pencil eyeliners, which are right here. Pretty simple drawer. Now, because this is a deeper drawer and I put this junk drawer organizer in there, it is empty under here. So technically you can get two layers of storage if you put one of these in here because it just sits on top. I was thinking about putting like extra cotton rounds and stuff underneath there if I need to or like makeup wipes. I don't know. I, haven't, I just put this up there yesterday, so I'm not sure what I'm going to put in the bottom of this drawer yet. But now I have two layers of storage. And in the bottom here, we have a bunch of like my SD card reader, a phone charger, um, some baby wipes, and then big palettes that don't fit anywhere else like the Jeffree Star um, Bloodlust, the cake palette from Glam, Glam Light, the Alien palette, the pizza palettes from Glam Light, more Jeffree Star palettes. So Glam Light and Jeffree Star giant palettes down here with some like stuff I need when I'm plugging my camera into the computer right beside me. And that's it for my normal makeup collection. I'm going to show you some stuff I never show you now. So the lighting might be weird over here because I cannot put lighting behind me in this small corner because my set that you usually see is right against the tripod. So in this first drawer here, we just have camera equipment because I do film at this table. So we have um, just like 
camera chargers, shipping stuff like paper, printer paper, tape, um, Sharpies for marking out my address on unboxing videos, some concealer for cut creases, Q-tips, um, spoolies, lip wands, and a lighter for the candle in my background. Next up is special effects stuff. So the next two drawers are special effects. So for this Alex drawer, I just decided to hold it because it's just easier for me that way. So we have some just random special effects stuff. Yeah, the Too Faced Boreless White Concealer in here, makeup remover, this all matte Alexa Stone palette. Just kind of dirty, needs to be clean. Sponges, loose powders, and here we have more special effects stuff. This has always been just packed up in a way, but I decided to go ahead and unpack it. Um, and these are more organizers from, these are kitchen organizers, two little kitchen things from Home Goods and TJ Maxx and stuff. And then this is another one just from, they're all just from TJ Maxx and Home Goods. They're just little clear things. Dragon Child palette face paints, little putty tools, a Mayron paints, Paradise paints. I got these from eBay. They're pretty good. After that, we have just some big makeup bags that I had all the special effects stuff in. Cotton rounds, extra sponges. All these, like all these big puffy ones that look like I have so many sponges, they came in a big pack from Amazon and they're really nice. They're like Beckley. I like them a lot. And then a couple other ones there. Baby wipes for when I do swatches. I'm going to wipe my hand off and clean it off and keep filling. And this is empty because I had all my empties in it and all my makeup I was throwing away in here. And then Azrael started sleeping in here. So I left this empty for now because Azrael, she knows the drawer's open. So she opens it with herself and sleeps in here. And you can barely touch it in there because it's like, like this. She closes it behind her somehow. I don't know how. But she sleeps in there. So that is this Alex drawer. And I have one extra organizer now that I bought those extra three drawers for those that I just showed you. And this wallpaper, so this is a little cheap $6 Ikea table. You can probably see that I had it white, then I painted it black on the top. Then I put some Society6 wallpaper up there because I ordered the wrong size and I couldn't fit on the wall. And now it's my filming room <laughs> table and it looks pretty cool. It's like a brain scanner and ink blot or something. It's really cool. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be doing a video on my filming room kind of setup soon once I actually set it up because it is still very empty in here. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you later. Bye.